Welcome all you plus two comedy modifiers back to the stream. Welcome back to a decadent mind. This is a Patreon exclusive. And uh, we are hanging out here with these wonderful patrons before we this goes up in like a month over on YouTube. I want to move this up just a tad. Make a little bit more room for our wonderful patrons to say wonderful things to me. Or mean things. It's really up to them. Uh, so we are working our way through this. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, there are seven deadly sins. We've gotten the secret answer for one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So we just got to figure out what's left. And I know what's left and I'm bad at it. So get excited for me to be cranky. So we're going to just quickly figure out what's left to do. We've done this one. 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 We just need to do this. Oops, hold on. Let me also get this. Let's go play music again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Whoopsie. <laughs> Not what I wanted at all. Skip all this. I don't even know where I am right now. Not this one. It's the, the box one that I can't comprehend. We did this one. We did this one, right? Yeah, we did that one. We did that one. This guy. This is the one we can't quite figure out. So I'm going to open this in a new tab so we can take a good look at it. So I believe I was hinted that I should do this, do sloth before I do diligence. Um, or did we do this one? Was this, this was the braille one? Yeah, this was braille. We did do this. Did that one. Don't want that. I don't know why. What one didn't we do? Now I'm totally lost. I know we did that. That was the element one. We did that. We did this. This was. The, this is the the braille one. We did that. I know I haven't, oh, I, oh, is that the one I haven't done? Am I crazy? I'm just, I'm out of this today. I'm going to. Yeah, I should just check my notes, right? <laughs> yeah, we did this cuz this was this was braille. And we got peacock. What it this is yeah, we need diligence. Sloth is diligence is the opposite of sloth. Yeah, this is what we need. This is not the braille one. Okay, I think that's where I got confused. All right. Okay, so these are the two that we're looking at here. So 
So the, the problem that I will restate again with this that I've been having is we have very little data. We can assume that numbers started here, went through the B10 ification project process and came out as 13, 8, 4, and 27. So you would assume that these four numbers have something in common. You would be able to see a link between all four of the numbers because they've been through the b 10 process, whatever that is. Uh, then we're taking these numbers and putting them through the b 2 fifth ification process. My thought is, once we find the link between the three, the four numbers, you do not care what went through B10, but you do know the outcome and have clues for the following process. But like, I feel, I know you created the puzzle, so it's hard to argue this with you, but I feel like I don't have any data of what this process is. No, I thought I had something. But... I don't. I don't know what data I have to possibly construe what B two fifth could possibly even mean. To like even begin to do this process. Do not care what went through B10, but you do know the outcome and have clues for the process, for the following process. I don't know what clues exist. Right, that's what I'm trying to kind of figure out. B10 gave us 3, 8, 4, 27. So I should be able to find a link between the four numbers that have something in common to be like, oh, that's because they went through B10. And I thought for a moment it had something to do with Roman numerals, but that's not making sense. Uh, it's not multiplication. Well, it could be multiplication. Um, no, it's not multiplication because they'd all be multiples of something. And they're not. 13's prime. So it's not that. The common thing among them is there is no further thought. Read this one more time. You do not care what went through B10, but you do know the outcome, which is 13, 8, 4, 27. And have clues for the following processes. B10, for example, gave 13, 8, 4, 27. The common thing among them is there's no further thought. The common thing among them is there, there with no further thought. The common thing among them is there with, is there with no further thought. The common thing among them is there with no further thought. Ah, 
common thing among them is there with no further thought. I, I just, oh man. No, that doesn't make sense. No, it does make sense. I have four numbers. Two odds, two evens. One prime, two not prime. They're like, they're not divisible by the thing, same thing. Ta-da. So, so, oh, so you're saying that the, the thing that they have in common, common is that it was numbers. Okay, so... Am I supposed to gleam that the input, which I know you said doesn't matter, may not have been numbers, and the B tanification process is not mathematical, but rather turning them into digits? Well, there's only 26 letters in the alphabet. So it's not a quick A1Z26 cipher. I was thinking maybe it meant binary? Because two in binary is is one zero. And B is the second letter. So the idea is that this says B2 and this also says B2. <laughs> Just differently. Um... It's not like it cycles back around. Well, I mean, no. Do I know a different way to say binary? Uh, base two. Yeah, binary is base two. Base two. Oh, okay. I I don't understand how you get this as an output if you put it through here though. But what what at whatever. So if this is base this is is trying to say okay. So if this is base 10, and then it comes out as base 10, I could put it into base two. Here. I don't know what that five is, <laughs> unless it's like five digits long. All right, so. No! Okay, hold on. I 
I don't want to do this. Sloth. Okay. Sloth. Okay, so... If we do it like that... There we go. We can hit the reward machine on FanDuel to say... It's an option, is all I'm saying. We don't have to do it, but it is an option. Eight and four. I know I could just do this bit by hand, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I, I've been like working on counting on like one, two, three, four, five. That's that's a weird thing I do to myself. <laughs> Is I've been trying to teach myself how to count in binary. Okay. So now we have this. I apologize. I apologize. I was trying to... I, w I didn't give her the finger. I was counting to four. I s promise I was just counting to four. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I thought there'd be like a nice L in here. And I guess we kind of have like a, well, no, they all have like a faith in them. So we have this, and then we're, we're, we're faced off with this. And that's a knight, which makes me think chess, which makes me think L. It doesn't say BL, so we're not putting it into base 50. Not that that would really even do anything. Well, if I took this and just put it now into base 50, I'd get 13, 8, 4, 20. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would get... Uh, I would get something very different, actually. Because basically, 50 would be 1, 0. So I'd get something very crazy if I put that into base 50. Not a knight! That is so clearly a knight! <laughs> Unless I'm supposed to interpret this as horn and think unicorn. <laughs> it's so, it's so, like, I, I wish I had someone else to talk to right now. Uh, pony. <laughs> My little pony. Uh, uh, horse. 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 Uh, is there like a... Is there like a horse cipher? Is that a thing? Image of horse cipher. There he, Look. Ooh, I don't like horse cipher. Horse cipher will haunt your dreams. Horse cipher. Horse... Oh! He's... <laughs> It's everything you ever wanted. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm right. Horse code solution. Uh mm. Uh mm. Uh mm. Plain text substitution cipher between written and Morse since five Morse the hyphen exclamation okay. I 
I mean, I, I could change it so zeros are dots and ones are dashes, but I don't know what to do then. How, like... I don't understand where to put the brake is the problem. Well, yeah, I know, I'm just, I'm reading, I'm reading information. I'm reading uh, thoughts, you know? So, what I'm thinking is it's... Dot, dash, nope, that's a one. <laughs> dash, dash, dot. Dash, all right, Noah, you can say it, you can do this. <laughs> I believe in you. Dot, dash, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dash, nope, no. <laughs> Come on, Noah, you can do this. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot. And then we got dash, dash, dot, dash, dash. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, I believe, I believe I did. I might have been lazy because sloth. Well. 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 Cut the final product into two, four, one, two, four, two, one, and four for easy consumption. Yum, 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 yum. Also, it's a conveyor belt. Stop coming back for <laughs> my lack of artistic skills. Okay. Okay. So, maybe it's like two. And then, I'll just move this up here. Four. One. Two, move this down here. Four, two, one, four. Okay, let me just get rid of these numbers real quick. Hayata, 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 Hayata. Let me go ahead and just snag this, like so. And, uh,. We go to Morse now. A Morse is a Morse, of course, of course. Activity. Ed. The famous Mr. Ed. Because a Morse is a Morse, of course, of course. Answer, Ed. Ed. Okay. Um. I don't. This is a clue bothers me a lot because the fact that it's at this point in the line makes me think I need to solve for this. So I kept looking for a relationship between these numbers that's not there. Because this, this stinks of math. Uh... You might want to put a no maths here somewhere, but then again, like, it is very number heavy, so that might even cause more confusion. Um, it, I, 
I don't want to insult your uh, your drawing. I almost think it would work better if it then circled around. Like, this is a loop. And, like, because then it would make sense to me. It's like, okay, it's numbers here. It goes through this, comes out as binary. goes through this, comes out as the words. Goes back through here. Comes back as the numbers. Then I, I think it, it might click a little bit more. Um... The, and the, you need a horse that looks less like a knight. <laughs> it looks... It looks so knighty. You can't... Vi oh, that's Solving in pink. Oh, look, it, it circles around. And there it is, traveling through the background. It's like, a, it's like your bag, baggage carry on. And then it swings up in here and connects. It's like, oh, this whole thing's just on a big loop that keeps just going around and around. That's what I'm saying. It's it's letting me know that when it comes out here, it is letters. Like, because I... Here's the question mark what I want to solve. I know that this is going to be a word for the most part because I know that's going to be the answer. So I can then say, oh, okay, so whatever this is, when it went through here was letters and came out as numbers. That might spark the idea instead of me trying to do math to it. Because I was sitting here for a while thinking that what originally went in was 1 1.3, 0.8, 0.4, and, and 2.7. And then it was times 10, and then went through. But since I know the answer will be words, that little bit of clue would be like, okay, so it started as letters, came out as numbers. Oh, maybe it's base 10. Maybe that's base 2 then. Oh, okay. That's just my thought. That's just my thought. This is the only one that I was like, I don't know if this is fair. But that's just me. That's just me. That being said, what's going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? So, it says same principle. <laughs> but I don't know how. Uh, because what I see when I look at this is this arrow here is the same as this arrow here. So I should take from this that whatever gets me from here to here will also get me from here to here. It should be the same. Yeah, I guess, you know, the, the problem is, I guess, activity doesn't go in and come out as those numbers. <laughs> I don't know why in my mind I thought they did, but that actually doesn't happen. So maybe it's not the best clue. I, I, retract, I retract my statement. I won't edit it out of the video, but I retract my statement. For some reason, I thought it was a perfect loop, but it's super not. Okay. So here, here is my issue. If I can get this, then I can get this. The issue is 
whatever this process is actually doesn't exist down here. So I don't know what that means. But the way I see it, it's also interesting that it's on a notepad. Maybe I should make note to that. We could just get rid of this. And, I, and you'd think you'd have the same information. But the fact that this is included might be important. Um, matter of fact, I think it is very important. If I click this, is there like... I thought there'd be like a word that starts with E. So am I missing part of this? Hold on. Yeah, there's undo up there, but that's not helpful. having some thoughts, just having some thoughts. Because control S is safe. I was just wondering if there was like, if control I and control E did something. So if I do something to E, it becomes I. If I do the same thing to I, it becomes S. That's what I'm kind of reading this as. There's a couple of E's in here. Right. Doesn't appear to be a keyboard cipher. Not looking at my keyboard, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't think it's the value of the letters, because E is five, I is nine. Yeah. And an I plus four does not equal S. That just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Um, May I ask why you're looking for a method? Because what else could I do? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing this is the training wheel. Mouse didn't want to work for a second. This is the training wheels. I'm going to apply this knowledge down here. I mean, yeah, I... I just, just wanted to check that before I get, like, I got too frustrated. Uh, I mean, I could look at Morse again. Where's, where's, where's Morse? Like try it. I'm trying to think like what what can I use from sloth that makes sense. Morse code might make sense. So let me just Morse code. Just give me give me an image, please. I just need something to think about here. There we go. So here's E. To become I, it's another dot. 
Is three dots then S? It is. Okay, cool. Feeling better about stuff. No. You you come out you come out here and play with me. There we go. No! What are you doing? This is not what I asked you to do. Alright, don't be a dick now. Good. Now I just need you to be a little smaller so I can look at you while I look at other stuff. Cool. Hang out here behind my head for a second. Then pull this back up. Okay. Okay, this makes sense now. I like this. I like this. So the idea E, I, S, and then four dots would be H. So next would be H. So T, a T is a dash. M is two dashes, so three dashes would be, I think, S. No, oh, 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 yes, okay, cool. So, dill, for diligence. I'm not writing the whole word. A plus N, dot is, oh, God damn it. all right, come on. Just, Noah, figure it out. <laughs> figure yourself out, Noah. Da dash dash dot also known as a thing I'll copy and paste later. No, it's P. P. Alright, W minus T W minus T is dot dash also known as A. E minus three. What? E times three. E times three, which I guess would be three dots. Uh, r real answer, I'm super behind at work. I have so much work to be done. Uh, my, my, I guess my question here is, it, is it dot times this, or is it just three dots? Which makes the most sense to me, is to just do it that way. And hopefully, hopefully you're just being nicer to me. Um, which would be... Three dots is this. Okay. I'm super behind at work, and I'm super behind at getting stuff up. And that just makes me cranky. Half of an M is one dash, which is... T B minus N is two dots, which is I. I'm going to guess this is G. H divided by four. No, it's not. Oh, no. Because I don't want to deal with this. This seems hard. Two thirds of O? Well, two thirds of O is easy. It's just a dash. There we go. I was worried about nothing. Which is T. Right? It is T? It is T. So then a fourth of H. Where is H at? Which is four dots. So it's one dot, which is E. Pass tight. Am I dumb? What did I do wrong? Whoops! You didn't see that. <laughs> good about. Fourth of O, yeah, yeah, that's a T, that sounds good. B, which is, yeah, three dots, 
minus n, so it should be two dots, which is i. Yep, that sounds, that sounds good to me. Half of m, m is two dashes, right? Yeah, so that's one dash, which is t. All right. E times three, E is just one dot, times three is S. W, W is dot dash dash minus T, which is one dash. O is three dashes. Oh, oh, I miss, okay, I misread. Okay, I get what you're saying. I misread. Two thirds of O. I, I, yeah, okay. So two dashes, two dashes is M. Yeah, pastime. <laughs> That's what I was gonna guess it was. <laughs> it was pastime, so. All right. Pastime. A underscore. A underscore. So what do we have here? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm going to guess that the O underscore connects the two words. I think sins is two words in the Ends in O. I think I just got to put them in the correct order. I don't know if it's jumbled or if I need to to relook at my sins and where I got everything. Um... Go back, go back to my sins. Go back to sins. Go back to the sins. Okay, so why, why, why are you down there where I can't see you? <laughs> nope. This actually might be fine. <laughs> this might be fine for right now. Aria first. Aria was greed. So which one was greed? Chastity. Greed is N. So we're starting with the letter N. N. The next one was envy. So what was the answer to envy? La. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> not the way. All right, so my brain says that the last word is probably and an ED, right? So I'm saying ED is probably the end of it. I'm also saying that there's, it, since this is probably the answer that I'm going to input, it should be an O and then this. So if it ends in O, what kind of word can I make that ends in O? Val, ep, la, la, landed. I mean, I, I assume that, I, I would assume that the words start with a vowel, I would guess if I had to. Uh, no, no, it's not that. Um, I mean, it could also end in ES. That actually makes a lot of sense too. Uh, la, la. La, 
Yes, nice. We come in peace, trying to help. Again, I haven't left you to guess anything. The order is given somewhere, somehow. I mean, I feel like virtue is a lot more... straightforward here in the way that like this is a nice order you know so maybe I start with charity Charities is UL. Ooh, that doesn't that doesn't feel right unless it's ultra, which it probably is, because there's T R A there. So ultra, and then there's an underscore here. So there's that, and then D, and this is probably three words. So I assume, I assume humanities will give me, will give me uh, TR, or it's just T, it's just T, is what I think humanities will give me. Uh, but a humanity apparently I didn't, Stop here. Did I solve it elsewhere? Patience. T-I. No, that's wrong then. What's wrong here? No, well, maybe it's necessary. I mean, this is an order, but unless I'm supposed to be pairing them, I guess I could pair the sins to the virtues. But like. A, e, D, A underscore E, D doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I moved you. I mean, here's a nice order. Let me just double check the sins portal. think it's these numbers. Well, that's still just in order. I 
the seven deadly sins, and the four last things. This I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, do I compare these? No, no, this is what I want. Ah, okay, all right, here are the numbers. Here are the numbers. <laughs> here they all are, okay. So, all right, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Aria first, that's fine, it's greed. So I need greed first. Okay. Control F, greed. Go. I hate everything. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, hold on. <laughs> Shush. All right. So VA was first. Okay. We're making our way. We're making our way. We're making our way. Two. Two is over here. It's charity. I find charity. It's UL. I've used VA. And I've used UL. Okay. Number three, whatever this is, it is envy. Grab envy. Don't. <laughs> You're right, that's pride. That is 100% pride. Did my dumbass not write down greed? Which other thing are we gonna write now? God damn it. <laughs> Great answer. N. It's right there. For some reason, I can't search for it. N. U L. Get rid of the N. What was the third thing I was looking for? Envy.
La. Virtue. Give why is everything so... I'm out of time. I gotta, I'm sorry. I do actually super have to leave. But I know we're right at the end of this. So we will knock it out at the start of uh, the next day. Uh, and we will we'll crush this. And then we'll move on to new things. But I gotta go. Uh, lots, lots of work to be done on the other end of Plus Two Comedy today. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. If you want to be like this cool person. I think there's only one person here. So I can say one person. Uh, uh, be sure to join the Patreon for just $1. We do this every Tuesday, and then these go up in a month on Plus Two Comedy Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Plus Two Comedy Gaming so you can catch up on all my past live streams. And I will see you all next time.